We also wanted to talk about um, about the piece Miss Holmes, which is a really interesting piece, I think. Um, could you explain how this piece evolved? Okay, from then Miss Holmes is quite interesting because mm -hmm. it's kind of follows up a bit the idea of the child bees and the humans. <laughs> uh, I was asked to do a piece of work for, for um, Istanbul Biennale, and it was the first time I was asked to do something in a Muslim country, you know, in mm -hmm. Turkey. So, but the thing which was kind of imposed on the artist, really, is to do something uh, on a pair of shoes, and the exhibition was going to be called Shoe Shop, and it was going to be set in a shop. We used to sell shoes. Then each artist had to provide a piece of work made with shoes, you know. Oh, I didn't understand that. Yeah. That yeah. Was, okay. So that's why came the idea of, you know, okay, shoes, I'm going to look at shoes and see. Then I obviously saw the shoes that I used for the piece. I fell in love with them for two reasons. First of all, because they're stiletto shoes, they're quite feminine. Secondly, because they're 60s shoes. And for me, the 60s were quite important because of the date when I was born for so the Algerian liberation from France. Um, and uh, thirdly, because walking, it's such a beautiful metaphor for anything to do with immigration or displacement, etc. Obviously, high heel, it's also perhaps a difficult or not so stable mm -hmm. uh, walking. And there was also this kind of notion of immigration perhaps being a bit difficult also sometimes. It's not just all, you know, kind of beautiful and um, Didn't you find the, the shoes in a flea market? Or yes, I bought the shoes in a flea market. And the name was And, the, and yeah. the inside of the shoe, you know, uh, said Miss Holmes. And it was a perfect shoe for me. Uh, and Miss Holmes, I mean, so English name, you know, I thought it's brilliant. Then uh, I fell in love with a pair of shoes. What was interesting was they were size three. They were kind of quite small. Yeah. You know, you could <laughs> almost not wear them. You know, I'm size four, but even me, I'm kind of out difficulties of wearing them. Anyway, I decided to customize the shoe by adding some Islamic patterns and to use the same color than the leather, a really nice brown leather, and to use a kind of patterns uh, as brown or so. Mm -hmm. um, and I was quite happy with the piece. 